Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and happy new year to everyone. Here we are in the first week of January 2020 and I'm going to go over my January TBR with you guys. Sorry this video is a little bit late but uh, I just took the end of 2020 to just kind of relax and I wanted to get back to filming at the same time I went back to work. So today was my first day back at the office. I work from home now. So I wanted to kind of get back into the swing of filming also and get back to just kind of a regular schedule here. So first things first, as you can see, we have a new background. So over the holidays, I finally had a chance to set up my new bookshelves that I've had sitting down here for the past few months um, just with some health things and personal things we had going on um, I didn't get a chance to set them up so I've moved down into my basement area which is a nice big room and I can have enough space to do my actual job and filming YouTube so really glad to have these bookshelves finally set up and not just have my books laying on the floor so yeah let me know what you think of the new setup and while you're at it please make sure to hit the subscribe button below and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. So let's jump right into the TBR, shall we? So first of all, I have a few books that are leftovers from my December TBR, so I still really did want to read these, um, but I did fall a little bit behind in my reading. I actually took some time to do some writing as well. I wrote a 6,000 word short story, and like I mentioned in my last vlog that I did on the channel, um, I was really happy to get it done and not sure if it'll ever be published or if anybody will ever read my story, but I was just happy to get some writing done. So I took some time away from my TBR in December um, to get that accomplished and now we'll get back to these books. So first is Catherine House. So just a quick overview, of course, this one is a dark academia and it's about a school that is very elite and if you get accepted into the school you have to completely leave your life behind so you're not allowed to take your clothes or have any contact with the outside world. And of course crazy things start to happen once the students are locked behind the gates of Catherine House. So as I've mentioned before, I'm really into dark academia right now. I always kind of have been, but it's a little bit of a thing right now and there seems to be more books available. And uh, yeah, so this is right up my alley for sure. The other book that I have left over for my December TBR is book three of the Messy Man series. So I finished the first two books in December and I really, really love them. So um, just the way that the author kind of intertwines all of the stories is just really compelling and it just captured me like immediately. So I am planning on doing a full review of this series once I get book three read. So definitely going to get to that one in January as well. So the next book that we have is No One Gets Out Alive by Adam Neville and I heard so much about this book from other booktubers and I was so excited to read it. It's supposed to be really really good so definitely wanted to get to this one in January and if you don't know this follows a girl named Stephanie who is really strapped for cash and she is looking for a place to stay that kind of fits within her meager budget and she finally does find somewhere um, but as soon as she moves in she almost immediately regrets it. The landlord is spooky, the house is spooky, she starts hearing whispers and scratches and footsteps and then comes the crying from the other female occupants in the building um, but she doesn't know what's going on and then she gets into a situation where she's not even sure if she's going to make it out of this house. So haunted houses, of course, definitely up my alley. And then with the added layer of, you know, someone in desperation and then they have to come into this place with a spooky landlord. It definitely sounds really good. And this is a pretty big book. So I did cut down my January TBR just a little bit by one book, um, just so I could make sure I had enough time to read this one. And it is 615 pages 
So definitely wanted to give myself time to get through this one and super excited about it. I'm really looking forward to it. So next up we have Universal Harvester by John Darniel. And this one is just a little book. So after getting through the Adam Neville book, I think this will be a good one to recover from it because it's just a short little read. And I featured this book in a, I think the last book, book haul that I did. And this is about Jeremy who works at Video Hut, which is a video rental place in the 1990s. And it's supposed to have all of the nostalgic feels. And I'm a kid that grew up in the 80s and 90s. I just finished My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. And it was just a blast. It was such a good book. And it just reminded me of things from my own childhood that, you know, I kind of forgot or were kind of in the back of my head. And it was just a blast. So here, um, this young guy works at Video Hut. And of course, I remember going to rent out videos myself before, you know, everything went digital. So what happens is when people start bringing the videos back after renting them out, um, they keep saying that there's something wrong with it. There's something on it that shouldn't be there. And these are all new releases. There shouldn't be anything strange on them. And uh, so when he pops it into the VCR and looks at these videos, he kind of sees almost like a snuff video, I think. So there's creepy, crazy things going on in these videos. Um, and it always happens at the midpoint of the movie that's supposed to be on there and you can't tell who the people are but you can see landmarks from his town and of course he gets thrown into this mystery of who's making these films and uh, yeah so he's trying to figure out what's going on there with that and this cover is just really psychedelic too I don't know if it's really showing up on here but it is uh, it's very shiny <laughs> it's really appealing to me so like I said, nice short little book. So I think after the Adam Neville, this will be a good one to recover. And the last physical book that I have coming is actually an ARC from a debut author by the name of Robbie Miles. We're friends over on Instagram and I reached out and asked him for a review copy of his debut novel that is going to be coming out in February. So I'm just waiting for that to come in the mail and uh, really excited to read this. It is a middle grade sort of goosebumps type novel and I promised him that I would do a full honest review here on the channel. So just waiting for that one to come in the mail and we'll definitely discuss it together once I get through it. So for the ebooks that I have lined up and if you don't know usually every week I try to read one actual physical book and one ebook that I take you know to read in bed and in the bath and the first one is The Ravens by Cass Morgan and this just came out this past December and I haven't heard anything about it on booktube yet. So I'm definitely excited to get into this one and see what it's all about. And again here this is a dark academia so right up my alley goes right with the other book Catherine House um, in January as well. And as for the synopsis, so here we follow the sisters in a sorority house and you know it's a normal sort of sorority on the outside. All of the girls are very ambitious and very intelligent. Um, but what people don't know is that they are actually all witches. So some of these girls are hereditary witches, so they grew up in witchcraft and they know exactly what they are. And some of the other girls don't know that they're witches and they get recruited into the sorority. So eventually someone figures out the secret of the sorority and they want to harm these women. So they won't rest until these witches burn. And so this sounds, again, right up my alley. So um, I'll definitely do a full review of this one as well because like I said, haven't seen anything yet on it and I'll let you guys know how it goes. So next up I have 12 Nights at Rotter House by J.W. Auker and this is another one that I've heard so much about in 2020. Just about everyone that I've seen on booktube that's read it has really enjoyed it. And here again we have another spooky house story. So we follow Felix who is a travel writer and he goes around to different haunted places within the country and does travel logs about them. And I gotta tell you, I mean, 
you know, that would be a total dream job for me to just travel around to all of these haunted places and stay there and see if I have any experiences and then kind of write a report on it. So that sounds really, really cool. So Felix ends up getting an invitation to stay at Rotterdam Mansion, which is an old rundown haunted house. So he and his friend um, get the opportunity to stay there for 13 nights and Felix kind of takes this as his opportunity that this is this is it for him this is going to be his best seller and he and his friend come up with these three rules so um, they're not allowed to leave the house they're not allowed to have contact with the outside world and they sleep during the day so that they can have all of their spooky sort of experiences at night so from what I can tell things start to get really crazy and then Felix's mental health starts to decline and he starts to spiral down into madness and they start having some crazy experiences at Rotterdam mansion so really all about the dark academia and the haunted mansion stories this month and uh, really looking forward to this one because I've heard some great things. And last up on my January TBR we have Craven Manor by Darcy Coates and I'm not gonna lie I'm a little bit nervous to read Darcy Coates because I've heard mixed reviews on this author's writing so I've heard from some people that absolutely love all of her books and then I've heard for, from some other people that they DNF'd and you know they're, they're probably not gonna read any anything else from this author. So a little bit apprehensive to dive into this one because I don't know which way I'm gonna go, but we're gonna start off with Craven Manor. And if I like it, I'll probably um, be getting some more Darcy Coates under my belt. She has come out with quite a few books in a really short period of time. So in this story, we follow Daniel who is desperate for a fresh start. So one day a mysterious figure slips a piece of paper under his door and offers him a job as a groundskeeper at Craven Manor, which is an ancient estate in the area. So Daniel jumps at the opportunity and he shows up at Craven Manor, but he immediately has alarm bells going off because it looks like this house hasn't been lived in for quite some time. The front door is hanging off and there's cobwebs everywhere. Um, but in his situation, he doesn't have anywhere else to go. And this sounds like another sort of cozy haunted house story that will go right on with what seems to be a theme of January in 2021. So there you have it guys. That's everything I have for you today. That's my TBR for this January. So I'll be sure to do some reviews along the way during the month, but I'm also going to start doing monthly wrap-ups at the end. So I'll give you my overall thoughts on how the month went and you know what I thought of all of the books. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment down below on if you've read any of these and what you thought of them. I love chatting with you guys down in the comments and until next time, stay spooky guys. Bye.